happy Thursday, Thursday boot camp. Friday Eve. Friday Eve, fourth day of boot camp. Y'all, it has been an absolutely amazing week. It really has. I don't know if you all have had as much fun as we have, but it's been off the chain, off the chain. Wait, mm -hmm. people don't say that anymore. Yeah, well, I don't. Mm, I it's think still, it's still off the chain. Sometimes I say stuff and I'm like, you're old. <laughs> you should use <laughs> Don't say stuff like that. <laughs> um, anyways, I hope you guys are having a good, happy Thursday. I feel like the same, we've had the same crowd all week. Yes. Like y'all are just hanging out with us, like crafting, and we see your comments. We see you guys hanging out with us. We see you completing your projects, which is what we really want. Like, I am, can I just say how impressed I am with every single one of you all. Yes. The projects that I have seen that have been recreated in our Facebook group are so good. They are. Like you all have taken what we've been teaching and even if you have recreated exactly the way we did it, kudos to you. Like it looks They're doing amazing. It. Yeah. I mean, but kudos to doing it. But you all have blown my mind at how you have taken what we are teaching mm -hmm. and put your own spin on it yes. and truly made it your own with what you have. Right. I, I mean, standing ovation for oh you guys. Gosh. I'm scared. so impressed. I'm scared of this chair was going to break. Uh -huh. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that either. Yeah. But. Um, so, I mean, I, I've been blown away too and you all are getting so creative. Like, this is what we always hope for, I think, as instructors. We yes. want you all to take what we're teaching you and adapt it to the materials you have and the you know, the constraints that you have in your craft room, we want you to be able to adjust it and we want to teach you how to do that. Yes. So um, anyways, very exciting stuff. And today we're going to be doing another paper craft. Yes, but, so. but today we are taking trash and turning it into treasure, which makes my thrifting heart mm, so mine too. happy. I love it. As crafters, we have to take, we, a lot of times we will just take what we have and turn it into something beautiful. And we truly are taking packaging, trash that you would normally throw in the trash and we're turning it into something beautiful. And yes. I really think you all are gonna love this. Oh my gosh. I feel like we've been talking and we do this at boot camp. Like we will be like, which one do you think is gonna be the best? Like, which one do you think is going to perform the best? And, like, yeah. which one are they going to go crazy over? Uh -huh. This is a talk contender. And I think it's because you all love to reuse. And, like, it's a kind of that, like, innovative feeling. You feel like you're getting really the most bang for your buck. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, but if you guys have missed the last few days, we have been running our 75 off our yearly membership uh -huh. and you're getting the free craft hack handbook. But y'all, we started out with 150 yesterday. We started out with hundred today. We're down to 50. We're down to 50. Y'all, we have two days we're left. We're down to 50. If they, I have no doubt in my mind that by the end of today, we're going to go through those 50. Yeah, we will. There's, I mean, Honestly, there really is no doubt in my mind that these will be gone. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, you need to get it while the getting's good um, because we do only have a very limited amount that we are shipping out. Most of those right. are taken, like most of those are spoken for. They have someone's name on them already. Yeah. So if you want to jump in and get this craft hack handbook and the course that goes along with it, make sure that you, one, if you're not a member, Membership is where I think you should start. That is the best place. $75 off, grandfathered in at our best price. You literally yeah. can't beat it. Number two, if you are a member, I feel like we've not highlighted all of the courses that we have to offer this week. I agree. Even if you, even if you're not a member and you're like, uh, I don't know, I'm not 100%, mm -hmm. but there, we may have another course that really yeah. piques your interest. So the other courses that you can purchase and still get this craft hack handbook, number one, Maker's going to sublimate. If you've been mm -hmm. thinking about jumping into the sublimation world, that is where you need to start. Even if you do not have any other, um, any of your supplies, I'm telling you, the course is where you need to start. You can even do that in two payments and get this book for as little, if I'm not mistaken, I'm thinking the two payments brings it down to under $100. Yeah. It's it, like, so you can get a course for under $100, which you will, it'll be two pay. So it'll be pay now, 30 days later, you'll pay the second right. payment, but you'll get a course for under $100 
two courses for under $100 and a craft hack handbook. I mean, you can't beat it. Wow. So, so not only are you all basically, not basically, you are getting this for free and you're getting the course that goes along with this book for free if you purchase any course from Maker's Gonna Learn that is $100 or more. Actually, it's like technically 90, is it 97 or more or 100 or more? Yeah, I think it's I think it's 97 or more. Yeah, so yeah. as long as you all are signing up, and y'all, that's any of our courses. So there's yeah. Sublimation, there's Maker University, which we just completed sophomore year. Uh -huh. You can still go and complete those, even though we like are technically about to have graduation. Right. We've got Makeathon, which is our live um, crafting, crafting event events. that we do at the beginning of National Craft Month every year. Year. So there are lots of options and if you are a yearly member and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know, like I want that craft hack handbook, you can, there's two things you can do. You can make sure that you're grandfathered in at the best lowest price mm -hmm. um, and what would happen is basically you would pay today and it's going to prorate. And it would extend your membership, your membership for right. another year. Yes. So I mean there's so many ways you can go yeah. about this. Um, so yeah, I yeah. Mean, everybody's in the comments saying, you know, they love the sublimation course, love the membership. Oh, yeah. We did have a friend earlier, I did see your comment, I didn't address it at that time, that said, we should have a course on how to use your website. We got you, friend. Mm -hmm. We'll actually show you how to use our website super quick. Yeah. Um, we can do that if you'll stick around at the end of the show. I don't want to interrupt our craft today because I right. want to make sure everyone we get through that. But at the end of the show, what we can do is give you a quick rundown on how to use our website, yes. everything you need to know, where to find things. That will truly help you guys out. Oh, yeah. But the first thing we need to do before we even get started is announce a winner Ooh. for an HTV Raw Auto Press. A winner. So this is from yesterday. We announced that we were doing this giveaway. And y'all, we've been doing giveaways every single day. We've got a giveaway today. We got a giveaway tomorrow. So we are gonna announce Sadie picked our winner from yesterday. So let's Yay. just get a big old drum roll. Congratulations, Heather, Heather Durbin. Durbin. You are the winner of the HTV Raw Auto Press. If you are here with us, make sure you email your best mailing address at hi at makersgonnalearn.com. Sadie will drop that in the comments. And also, one thing that I want to make sure um, you guys know and understand before we get started, the comments, I'm gonna be over here in the comments as much as yes. I can, but let's be clear, if there is a, a question that you have specifically regarding your account, if what price your membership is at, all of this stuff, all of those are great questions for customer care. We have an amazing customer care team that oh, yeah. is working for you guys. We are here for you. You can email them those questions and they can really look at your account. The comments here on YouTube is not the best place right. to ask all of those questions. Now, y'all ask away about the craft, please. We love mm -hmm. getting questions about what we're doing so we can help you understand but if you have any questions specifically about your account or if you have forgot to use the code at checkout, because if you want to join membership, make sure you use code 75OFF to get that $75 off. So make sure any of those questions, direct them to hi at makersgonnalearn.com. Yes. Okay. Let's just jump right into the craft. If y'all got questions about the craft, pop mm -hmm. them in the chat. I'm going to hop Love on over it. to the craft table. Okay, I hope you guys are ready because I just think this is the coolest thing ever. Um, let me, let's go overhead. I'm gonna show you what we're making first. So if you didn't see it in the thumbnail, we're making this adorable, first of all, it's a sunflower. Okay, I'm obsessed. I love the sunflower. So cute. I know, it's adorable. So we've got a sunflower and then we've got our little raisinets in here. So I've got some raisinets here. We've got some M&Ms because I thought we could do M&Ms in there. Um, but we are going to be cutting this out of cardstock and then we're gonna be assembling it and then we're gonna add this plastic piece. Now, if you saw the preview of the video on the thumbnail, it said made out of trash, question mark, exclamation point. Question mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> and this is what is happening here. So if you guys have ever stopped at the Dollar Tree, you know they have the Crafter Square brand of craft items. I want to show you all how cool this is. 
We're taking this, so we're taking this double-sided tape, which we've linked for you all. Uh-huh. Um, and look, we're gonna flip her over. We're gonna trim off all the pieces that we don't need, and that's gonna be our middle piece. So you're getting this, and you're getting double-sided tape that you can use for other projects. I mean, you can't beat it because you're so buying, cool. you truly, you're buying a craft supply. Yes. And you're taking the trash and turning it into a craft. It's so cool. And you really, you could even use the double-sided adhesive for this craft. I know, it's I crazy. Mean, you can't beat it. You really can't. So, Sharon, I didn't see your dog watching. Oh my gosh, I'll have to look in the Facebook group. I must have missed that one. I try. We try to like be in the Facebook group so we're like seeing everything you're posting and stuff, but yes. there's a lot. Y'all have been like popping off in the Facebook group, so there's I'm a lot. like straight up popping off. Yeah, all, constantly there's new stuff to see and stuff like that, so I love it. So anyways, you're gonna need that double-sided tape. You're gonna need some candy. Now you can do whatever candy. Just think about the size of it. You're not gonna wanna do anything like super big. You could even do like little Skittles or mini M&Ms. Also, have you guys seen the little Skittles in the tube, like the mini M&Ms? Have you seen them? No, they they're, have mini Skittles? Yeah, they're <gasps> called little Skittles. That's so cute, <laughs> little Skittles. Ah, I'm gonna have to get them now. You have to, and they're like, the, cause you know in the mini M&Ms, like you can just Oh, you know, you, just you know, that's how back. I learned. That's how I learned how to swallow a pill was with mini M and M's. <laughs> well, there you go. There's some parenting advice for you. I didn't know that's what you learned how to do with that's that. That's what I did. That is hilarious. That's what I taught Asher. He, I used mini M and M's because if it if it felt like it was getting lost, he could just bite it and chew it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, speaking of that, I was taking my medicine this morning. It, I got choked on my medicine. I was like, who am I? I'm an adult here. Okay? Are you though? I should have been practicing with you little Skittles. You should have been practicing with little Skittles. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I should have got it together. Uh, jelly beans would be really cute in here, especially for Easter. So anyways, also the you back. You could do a cute little like just regular flower with like a yellow center and yes. do jelly beans. Ah, oh, Like do colorfuls. Because really this is a sunflower, but you could do different colors and it would look like a dahlia or another flower. So very cute, lots of different options here. And y'all know we like to encourage you to use what you have. So if you don't have yellow and brown, use whatever other colors you have that makes sense to you that you think will look pretty. Um, and I think it's gonna turn out good no matter what. Carol so, said chocolate covered sunflower seeds would literally be perfect for this. Uh, Oh, and that gosh. was an absolute missed opportunity. Absolutely. And you know what? Me and Mary Catherine sat there and we were like, what would fit the best? What would fit the best? And then Chocolate. didn't even think about <laughs> Chocolate it. Chocolate covered sunflower seeds. Daggum. We really did miss the opportunity, but it's okay. It's fine. So you're going to need just a few little things. Um, this is the Precision Craft Glue. Now, Ashley Falco came and visited us a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. She helped Super Tight come up with this glue formula, this bottle and all that. And so we have been kind of married to this glue. So this is just a good paper craft glue. And Sadie, are we super zoomed in or are we good? Okay, because I zoomed us in earlier. So um, this is just a precision tip glue. The brand is Super Tight. Now you can use whatever glue that you've got, like hot glue would work for this one. You could use double-sided adhesive. You know, we just bought some double-sided tape. You could use that. Um, I don't know that Elmer's glue would be the best. Uh, no. Maybe a glue stick. Yeah. A glue stick would be okay. The reason, the reason I say Elmer's glue would be like a no for me is because sometimes when you use those like liquidy Elmer's glues, it will shrivel your paper up. Yes. And then we just don't want that. That's like yes. a no-no. So anyways, use whatever paper glue. The Barely Art brand is really good. Lots of people use that. Uh -huh. And then I've got the Ashley Falco paper here. We're gonna be using a brown and a yellow. Oh, one thing I did, I did see that you have uh, forgot about. What? I'll go grab it. Okay. The uh, foam pad to use to, put, to <gasps> lay the paper on. I literally walked out there to grab that earlier. I'll get it. Okay. So I've got yellow and blue cardstock. This is what I would consider a medium cardstock. And this is the Celebration Warehouse Ashley Falco brand cardstock that we swear by. Um, Lynn, if you're looking for the MGL Facebook link and you're a member, go log in and then you can go to your dashboard and select Facebook group and it's right there. I've got a standard grip mat here. Now, when you're working with paper and you heard us talk about this earlier in the week, 
Typically, you're gonna wanna use a light grip mat. Thank you. Um, but we're using a well-loved standard grip mat. So sometimes you'll see me and Lauren and Tanner grab standard grip mats for paper projects, but only a well-loved standard grip. So if this was brand new, it would be way too sticky for paper and the paper would actually stick to the mat. But we've used this a ton. You can even tell like we've used put tape on here. It's not the cleanest, but it's like the right tack. And a lot of times we will fill our mats and that's how we, pick which one we're going to use. Uh, I'm just being really honest with you all. That's kind of how we do it. But this mat is perfect for what we need. If you got a light grip mat, I would recommend using that though. Is there a link for the glue that we're using? Um, I'm not sure if Mary Catherine used it. She, I'm sure she linked glue. I just don't know if she linked that glue. Okay. I would have to look at it. Um, so we've got these right here. Now, if you don't know what these are, these are for fondant. And so they look kind of crazy, but I want to show you all this flower. So do you see how all of the petals are kind of curled up? We use these to get that effect. And Ashley taught us that as well. Yep. So I was like, my mind is blown. That's crazy. Now these are from Amazon. So they're these- They're just fondant tools. Did you tell them that? Yes, okay. they're just fondant tools. These are kind of, these have some weight. Like they're yeah. thick, they're heavy. They have, this is like a silicone gripper on them. But did you know the Dollar Tree in the cake decorating area has the same thing? Look, right here, you can use oh. that. Honestly, you could use this little one and you could use this one too. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So if you just, if you've got a Dollar Tree, you're going to be going to get some other supplies. Just grab you one of these if they have it. Um, it is a cake decorating tool set, but listen, like we said, we're being resourceful. Yep. We're being resourceful. So use what you can get your hands on today so you can get this craft made. Now you do need a mat, some type of like rubber mat or like something that has a little give to it. Now I brought This is that. our heat pad mat. Yeah, so that black mat is the one that came with our heat press, but I did also bring the Cricut mat because mm -hmm. I feel like most of you all are gonna have the Cricut mat. Yeah. Um, we tried both of them. The Cricut mat will work because it does have some give to it. If you have it, use it, it will work. Yes. We found that the rubber mat though that came off of our heat press had gave us a gave us enough give but also enough stability yeah that it worked the best so that's why i brought both of those in here so yeah. you all can see the two options and you can use like a mouse pad if you've got a mouse pad they even have special pads that mouse, you can like, purchase you, you could uh they do have pads you can purchase but mm -hmm. you could double up a mouse pad and it would be perfect oh my gosh yeah that would be like the perfect amount so anyways that's all the supplies that you need so what we're gonna do first, let's hop into the supplies that you all need. So if you're here and this is your first time here this week, um, then you probably haven't signed up for boot camp. So if you're wanting to sign up, Sadie's gonna drop the link in there for you. It's got little camping, little tent emoji. Click that link, you can just give us your email and we're gonna send you all the files and everything and you're gonna get access to this page that I'm on right now. Uh huh. So I'm gonna just scroll down. We've done day one, day two was our Stanley toppers. This was intricate cuts yesterday. And then today we are working on this Dollar Tree DIY shaker card okay and i actually decided last minute that we're gonna add if we can go overhead i'm gonna add a little saying back here and you guys are gonna love the saying i picked i made it up <laughs> <laughs> are you using it oh yeah i'm okay, using good, it i'm using i liked it. it we're gonna add a little saying on the back i think that'll be cute and that way it's like more of a card because there's no writing on it but i just feel like it'd be fun to have some type of sentiment on the back of there so anyways um this is the card we're making and then you can see right here, we've got all of the supplies that we just talked about. So you're not gonna need a whole lot. And look, I don't know if we told you guys what we were giving away today. We didn't even say it. Oh. Y'all, this giveaway is one of my favorite things to give away. So we call this our Crafter Essentials Kit. And basically what it is, is like a you, giving you a jump start on your crafting supplies. So we're gonna be giving away a brayer a mini easy press, which is my personal fave. Uh -huh. uh, Nikapa mats, which is what we're, we're using Nikapa mats today. They're just Cricut mats off brand. They're our favorite. 
a true control knife, and then a tool organizer. So if you guys want to be entered to win that, you're just gonna have to comment in our uh, live chat, or if you're watching the replay, you can comment below. We will pick a winner tomorrow during our live stream um, at whenever we come on live tomorrow. So make sure to comment and we will enter you. So super cool prize today. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the craft. So your cut file that you're gonna need is right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click that file, okay? And this is what it's gonna look like whenever you open it, okay? We're gonna hit download. And then it's gonna pop up here into a zip folder. If you don't see it pop up here, check your downloads folder, and then you should be able to search sunflower-with-center and it'll pop up if you can't see it directly. And sometimes it saves to your desktop too, so just keep an eye out. And then what we're gonna do is open up Cricut, okay? I was playing around this morning, let's delete that. And then I'm gonna go to Upload. Over here on the left side is where we have our Upload. Okay, and then we're gonna go to upload image. All right, now we're at our upload page. Let's open up our finder again. So you can see this is where it downloaded. If for some reason you can't find it, just open up your search or what is that? What do they call it on PC? Like the home, uh, you hit like home, the start. the start, start. Yeah, open up your start menu and go to your downloads and then find it. Now you don't need to like double click on this or anything. All I'm gonna do is click and drag and just it pops right into design space it's as easy as that y'all uh-huh so easy and then you're going to hit upload now it's in design space but we want to add it to our canvas so all you need to do is select the image and you'll see it pop up right down here if you accidentally select the wrong one you can x off of it and it'll get rid of it like if i accidentally selected this one and, and i was like select multiple yeah if you selected too many and you were like oh crap i only need a sunflower and... yeah yep. You can just delete these, so easy. So, and then you're just gonna hit add to canvas. So All we right. have been having some friends ask us, how do I enter the giveaway that, the today's giveaway? So mm -hmm. all you have to do, be here live, comment live, or if you want to go back and comment on the replay, you can enter that way. We, cause we wanna make sure that we um, include our friends that can't be with us live in the middle of the day. We Definitely. know and understand that there's so many people. I mean, we're at work. We're at, we're at work. <laughs> if this was We'd not our job, it. I wouldn't be able to watch it. Yeah. So we know and completely understand that. So we want to include them as well. What we do is we go back from the live and comments mm -hmm. on the video and we choose a winner that way. Um, but tomorrow, make sure you are here live because we are giving away a Cricut Maker 3 tomorrow Ooh. live. Oh my gosh. Y'all, we love to give away a Cricut machine. At some point, almost every boot camp. So, oh yeah. Okay, so we've got our sunflower in here. Let's zoom in, okay? Let's just get up close and personal. Now, this one is pretty much fit to the circular piece that we're using. If you're getting, if you're feeling frisky and you're getting really crafty on your own, you may need to resize the middle of your flower. So if you're using like, in my brain, I was thinking, oh, I could use one of the, half of the Christmas ornament domes. You know how we like use yes. those double-sided Christmas ornaments? You yes. could use something like that and do like a dome sunflower. Or if you just got something else that you wanna use here that's circular, um, you may need to resize it. So I wanna show you all how you can do that. But if you're using that crafter square double-sided tape plastic piece, like you don't really need to resize it, okay? Uh-huh. Um, so when you pull in this paper image, this SVG, it's gonna be grouped together. And the reason I know that is because when I click on different elements, it's got one bounding box and then over here, I have a layer with multiple sub layers underneath it. So they're kind of to the side of this layer. Okay, I, that's how I know. And then another way to know is when I hover over this ungroup and group button, it's gonna say ungroup, meaning it's already grouped. So what we're gonna do first is ungroup. Okay, now look how the layers panel change. Now we just have the six individual layers, okay? 
So what we're gonna do next, you can see I can pull all these pieces apart and nothing else needs to be resized. Now, if you were wanting to do something smaller, you can obviously do that, but y'all, these are usually paper products, or paper products, paper projects are already sized to what they need to be, okay? We try to make sure that they are sized so they're just a pull in and cut kind of situation. Absolutely. Sandy asked if we have other flower paper crafts, Sandy. We're about to blow your mind. Mm -hmm. We have so many. If you get on our website, if you're not a member yet, I want to encourage you to go to our website and just type in like 3D flower, this, flower. This like, one and the orchid are my two favorites. The orchid, that we've done. and I think the orchid's inside the membership now. It because is. it was a boot camp that we pulled off the channel. It is. Um, so when you become a member, you get access to um, some of those projects that we've done. We did Forget Me Nots. Mm -hmm. We did for uh, Makeathon this year. We did the photo flower picture holder. So we yep. love a flower paper project. Yeah. Don't put it past us. Mm -hmm. So now the this is the only piece um that we would want to resize we may have to manually adjust this one a little bit you would have to adjust all three right you would have to adjust everything well so that's what i was going to say though so if you have a centerpiece that's just a little bit bigger a little bit smaller you don't necessarily have to adjust the flowers typically with paper projects i would say adjust everything altogether. you never want to move anything without moving the rest of the svg but like this one let's say for instance this piece right here like you just needed it to be like a hair smaller and then you would want to manually adjust this one so it kind of was proportional it you don't really have to adjust the flower as much do you know what i'm saying like you shouldn't be having to adjust these a whole whole lot so i'm just going to undo all that because <laughs> it was already sized to what i needed it to be but what I think we need to do, and correct me if you think I'm wrong, okay. is show them how we get, how they could get the measurements of something. Absolutely. Like get the measurements of yes. what we're using and then adjust that accordingly. Yes. Okay. So let's say that this one, this, I'm going to put this green mat. Actually, let's put this pink paper under here. Tell me if y'all can see this better. Can y'all see that? Okay, cool. So let's say we hadn't measured this piece out. We just got this SVG and we thought, oh, I'm gonna use this little clear piece for my raisinets. What you're gonna need to do is measure the portion that's gonna be showing. So we're not actually gonna be using this outside portion. And honestly, let's just go ahead and cut it off. So we only need this raised portion in the middle and then the lip around the edge. I don't even technically need this edge so what i'm gonna do is come around here and cut that off okay you do want to keep a little bit of that lip because we need something to attach it to our cardstock so i'm just going to go all the way around okay and you're going to be left with something like this so you can see it's raised and it has the edge still so we can actually attach it okay and then what you're going to want to do is measure this raised area okay that's the piece that we want poking through the top we don't want it we don't want this part showing we only want this part showing so we're going to measure this okay so this is like 2.75 it's 2.75 Okay, I'm just double checking. Measure two, twice, three times if you're feeling crazy. Yep. Um, measure twice, cut once. So now let's go back into design space. So this square or this circle right here, you can't really know what the measurement of this inner circle is. So what I would do is I would go to my basic shapes and I'm gonna just get a circle, okay? What I'm gonna do is change the measurements of this circle to the measurements of the circle we just measured. So I'm gonna make it 2.75, okay? So we know this is exactly the size of our little plastic piece. Now look, if we put it in there, it fits. It fits. It fits. So now you would see that lip a little bit right there, but it's clear, so it's not really that important. Now if you wanted to, you could technically shrink this down a little bit now i don't think 
You could. Technically. I think if you were resizing, number one, high, you have to measure. Yes. But I would still want my sunflower, the middle part, that part, I truly think that having a little bit of wiggle room so having yeah. that let's call it a quarter inch it's not even a quarter yeah, inch really it's barely y'all it's it's probably more like an eighth of an inch yeah you want to see a little bit of white between what you measured the circle you brought in and that brown piece yes because that's going to ensure if the um like plastic if it's piece tapered, is tapered Thank you. You took the words out of my mouth. I think it is a little bit on. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's like just barely. Just barely, barely tapered, tapered out. Yeah. But that will give you some wiggle room just in case it is. And y'all, if you're unsure and you're like, I don't want to cut this whole project out because uh, I don't know if it's sized right, you can just cut out that centerpiece. So let me show you how you would do that. If you were really unsure about your measurements and you're like, I don't know if I want to cut everything out. All you have to do, y'all, is go over here and hide everything. Just hide all your layers that you don't want to cut out. And look, you could just cut that. And then you can you can fit it over top of your piece. And we did pre-cut one. Where did I sit? Oh, I sent it right here. Um, we pre-cut one in the wrong color. We were just kind of testing out sizes. So this is the this is the size that it is in design space right now. So let me show you. I mean, that fits perfect. I can probably hold it up closer to y'all. That fits perfect. Okay. So I think that we're good where it's at. We don't need to resize. Right. Sadie, do you care to drop the link, the boot camp sign up? Um, we did have a friend, Paul, ask, do you need to pay to get these files? The files that we're using this week and the files that we have used all week, we're actually giving you all for free um, just for being here at boot camp. Now, all of our... Who am I? Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, please hold. Okay, please, please hold. hold. Anyway, all of our 19,000 plus cut files that we have in our library, yes, you have to be a member to use those, but the files that we use today um, and the, this week and the ones we're using tomorrow, you all are going to get for free. Yay. Can y'all hear me now? Yeah. Am I back? Sorry. Thanks for letting us know, you guys. Y'all are always looking out. Okay. So we've got everything that we need in design space. All right. Let's carry on carry on we don't need to do anything else here so what we're going to do next um, i did hide my little circle that we use for measurement just hide it you don't need it anymore and then we're going to go to make it i am using an explore three today and you can see here um, our mats defaulted to 12 by 24 i love that for us mm. if your mat does that i just like to go and change it um, because look, it's trying to tell me to cut, and I'm not, I don't have 24 inch yellow cardstock. I just no. don't have it. I'm gonna change that to a 12. So these all went to 12. Perfect. That's perfect. So now we're gonna go to continue, and then it's gonna load, 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 and we are going to browse all materials. Now, I already have medium cardstock here, but if you don't and you're looking for it, because that's the cut setting we would use, you'd hit browse all materials and just type in medium cardstock, okay? And then hit done. Now, you're going to keep it on default pressure. We're going to use a fine point blade. If you've been using your machine a lot lately, I do, rec I do recommend a, a fresh blade for paper projects because it will tear your project up sometimes. Um, but yeah, so I've got, we're starting with our brown. So I'm just going to put this on here and get my burnishing tool. And we're just going to flatten this out. Let me move all this over here. Okay. And now we're going to load this into our machine. Beautiful. It's going to measure the mat. And we're going to. Put it. Oh yeah. Um, Kathy asked us, "What about the words?" Oh, I think we'll go back and add the words. Okay. We can go back and add the words here in just a minute. Honestly, did you guys know? Um, I'm gonna hit go on this. Did y'all know that you can open up multiple pages of your Cricut? Like, mm -hmm. let's go file a new window. Looky here. I can work on stuff while this is doing what it's needing to do. Yes. Um, so I'm wanting to put a, 
little card on the back of my sunflower. So let's go, let's just open this one and hit customize, or we can just start a new project. And I'm gonna measure the back of this sunflower that we already have. So well, y'all will kind of know how big you need it to be. So you're gonna wanna measure the back of it. So three and a half, maybe let's do three and a quarter. No, three and a half will be good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a basic shape, just a circle, and we're gonna change that to three and a half. So just FYI, Mo, there's a lot of people in our comments didn't know that you could do that. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. see, you never know. If you see, don't it's, know, it's things you don't know. like this that we like hearing your feedback of like, oh, we didn't know that. Thank you. So, like, because it's, we do this every day. So it's sometimes hard for us to remember like, mm -hmm. you know, like that y'all don't know it. Right. We're just like doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so we're going to be using this little circle and uh, I'm going to change it to pink because we're going to be writing it on pink. I'm doing like a hot pink or like a really, actually it's like a true pink, I would say. And you don't have to change it to the color. I just like for designing purposes, I kind of like to see, that's close enough. Um, I kind of like to see like what I'm working with. So let's zoom in here now i these will not the pink and the pen are not going to be linked in our boot camp supplies this is a literal last I just, minute <laughs> i literally decided before we go in i was like we need to add some type of writing element on the back of here so what i'm going to do is add this to the back of the card i just made a circle that is the same size as the back of our sunflower and I'm just going to add a text box. Now, you guys, are y'all ready to hear what I came up with? Um, I hope you think it's funny or else I'm going to feel like an idiot. <laughs> um, so what I thought, <laughs> since we're putting raisinets in there, <laughs> I thought we should put the bar dot, 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 your raisinette. Does it make sense? I love ha -ha. it. You're raising the ha -ha. bar. Like you're raising it? You're, you're raising, raising it. it. Or you could put like cool kids. You're raising it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all can come a up barn. A... You're not raising it. <laughs> a barn. Good thing you weren't raising it. <laughs> I don't sometimes know. Sometimes we're real dumb, guys. Yeah. You know. Listen. Sometimes our creativity comes out in really weird ways. Yeah. Okay. Your. We couldn't be songwriters. No. We would definitely. <laughs> we would get fired. Um, you're gonna have to put you are. I know. I, no, I'm not going to. I'm gonna change the font. This oh. Cricut Sands is giving me a run for oh. my money. Okay, so we're gonna select fonts and we're gonna use system fonts. And I've already got a bunch of our sketch fonts downloaded. If you all have never used a sketch font, these are specifically for writing with your Cricut. So they're all loving it, by the way. Are they? Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, y'all are my people. I knew, I knew that you guys would appreciate my yep. humor. So anyways, the bar, you're raising it. That's what we're going with. And I'm just going to use the sketch font. So these are like single line fonts that, that are exclusive to Maker's Gonna Learn. And when you become a member, you get access to these. They're just in with our other fonts. So there's lots of really cute ones that you can use here. Um, some fonts don't have like characters, if that makes sense. Like they won't have the dots or the... Also, I don't think that's how you spell raising it. Oh, yeah, it is. It's right there. All For right, some guys. reason, I thought it was two T's and another E. I thought it was two, like... Like a, like a, yeah. <laughs> like a... <laughs> who are the... The Rockets. The Rockets. The Rockets. That would like, be E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. I couldn't think of it. The Rockets. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. Okay. Listen, my grandfather loved the Rockets. Oh, I did. He, I mean, they're still a thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We I need to go see them. New York. Yeah, me neither. Yet. I've never been to New York. Oh, the bar, question mark, you're raising it. Okay, Aaliyah, you're helping me out here. I love it. Let's do it. I like the question Kathy mark Kathy said better. the same thing, should it not be? But no, on the packet, on the package, it is spelled like Look, it is on. this is proof, everybody. Raisinets, here it is. This is your proof. Okay, so I'm going to keep it like this. The bar, you're raising it, because I want it to say raisinets. Um, and then I'm just going to select both of these and we're going to align and center because I need it to be in the perfectly center. 
Kimberly and said they must be boy racing's LOL. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Hey, we're, we can be friends. Yeah. Okay, so I've got both layers selected. And now when you're writing with your Cricut, here's a little extra tutorial for you guys today. If you've never written with your Cricut, you need to attach your writing to whatever piece you're cutting out. And so right now, first of all, our words are set to basic cut. Our Cricut thinks that we want to cut this font out of this circle. We do not want to nope. do that. So you need to select it in your layers panel, come over here to operation, and we're going to select pin. Okay. One other thing before we get started or before we keep going, we have had so many people ask us what font is that? We have sketch fonts on our website. Let me just show them. Yeah, show them the sketch fonts on our website. And actually, since we said we were giving away fonts and files and everything for boot camp, we'll just go ahead and add this font. I, I think, why not? Yeah, let's go add ahead it. and add this font to the supply list. It's going to have to be probably after the live, unless yeah. Sin, shout out Sin, if you can add that to the. Uh, Sin, where you at? She's here. She's been commenting. Oh, if okay, you can cool. add that to the boot camp page, that would be great. But Cricut Access has writing fonts and so when we realized that they had writing fonts but like there's no other way we we just decided to create some sketch fonts so yeah, these look. are mono line single line sketch fonts these are just so good they're so cute you can use these we use these for um one of our venture projects to make like a giant card you can use these for so many different things and all you need, you can use Crayola markers in the Cricut. Did you know that? You can use Cricut brand markers. Listen, get crazy, get creative. And there's so many, look y'all, there's ton, There's two whole pages and that's a lot. So lots of different options here. Even there's even uh, script, so you can use those. Um, and then now, since we're asking, we wanna add artsy Amy sketch font to our zip folder for you guys. So y'all are going to be able to get this font, this little bonus for me and Lauren today. Bonus, bonus. We're giving bonus. you another sketch font. Yes. So make sure that you change this to the pen operation mm -hmm. and it'll say draw in your layers panel. Okay. And then we're going to select both layers. So the circle and the words, and we're going to attach them. This is the only way that Cricut knows that that is where you want your writing. Okay. So now I can hide my sunflower because we don't need it. We don't need that anymore. And then we can actually cut and draw all this out. So I'm just going to go to make it from here. We'll get back to the sunflower here in a second, but while we're over here, we'll go ahead and cut out our little circle and we want to change it to a 12 by 12 mat. Everyone's loving that we're adding this font. Can I just say, Yay! if you love what we're giving you for free, you really gonna love what's inside the membership. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all we're gonna say today. <laughs> we love giving, we love giving stuff away. Yeah, we do. But we're we like also a... love, um, we really love to love on our members. Yes. We'd like to give you guys little extra bonuses. This is giving COVID Artsy germ. Amy sketch, San, yes. Artsy Amy. Verifying, verified. Okay, so here's all the little pieces. Okay, now we're gonna do our writing. So I've got my pink cardstock here. You can use whatever color you think complements your sunflower. What, if you're doing different colors on your um, flower, just do a complementary color. Okay. And then we are using, why is it saying it can't connect? Rude. Okay, make sure my cords are plugged in. And then, what? Why is it saying that? What? It doesn't want to connect to my Explorer. Maybe because I have another. Uh, you have another cut. So you need to hit, I need done. to. Done. Yeah. You have honey. to hit done on this one. Yeah, we're just, we'll go. We'll and then back you'll go back this. to your other window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a second. She's hiding. There it is. Now, okay. refresh it. So you can't cut. So this is the thing. People were asking, uh, how did you do that? You can't cut when two windows are open. You can design in one window, cut in another. So you can be cutting one thing in one window, 
open a new window, design in it, but you can't connect to your machine until you hit done or cancel the cut from the first tab. Yeah, and if unless you have more than one machine going, which some people yes. get crazy and do that. I mean, I've Talking seen people you, have five, six machines going at one time and all connected Bluetooth to different machines. It's next level. It's That is next level. Like, it hurts my brain. Mm -hmm. So, two screens is the most I can do. Now, we're gonna do this on medium card stock and look, Cricut's gonna tell us exactly what to do. It's gonna tell me to load my black pen in the clamp A and my bound point in the clamp B. So, I brought in a black pen and y'all, if the pen fits, it ships. Yep. If you can put the pen in here, you can use it. And all you have to do is open that clamp and you're gonna push this in and listen, everybody be quiet. Did you hear that? <laughs> that everybody was quiet. paid actor. That was a paid actor right there. It really was, that was extremely loud. The, it was like louder like, than normal. It was louder than normal. It was like, let me just show up. Let, <laughs> let me show up and show out for our boot camp people. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, so fine point blade, pin. Now we're just gonna load this in. Oh my gosh. Raise your hand if you've never seen a cricket ride before because you're about to get your mind blown. I just feel like this is like I know so fun. Um, yes, Bobby, you guys are so good to non-members. Can you imagine what they do for us members? It's amazing, always above and beyond. <laughs> We try. So sweet. We really try. Yeah, we do. We work for you guys. Like, honest yeah. to goodness. Like, Y'all can tell us to do anything. We'll do it, it. If it wasn't, we've had so many people that have um, so had like made suggestions on things they want to see on our channel in the future that we have taken to heart and we've added to our stuff. I mean, we are here to serve you guys. Right. We are here to help you. Um, have frustration-free crafting, whether it's with your Cricut, whether it is with sublimation, literally whatever it is, mm -hmm. we take on that frustration so you all don't have to. Right. And the reason I say that is because, let's just take it back and talk about the sublimation course for a minute. <laughs> because it's one of those, I, I say that because I spent so much time on it. When I tell you I was stressed for like two weeks straight, trying to get it perfect. The sublimation course? Yes. Yeah, she How was. much money She's do stressed. you think I spent in just blanks alone getting the right print settings to put mm. in the course? Oh. Oh. Print settings are really just a good test of your patience. Print Printers. settings can make, will make you want to shoot yourself in the foot. Yeah, they're literally. Awful. But we have all of that inside the Makers Gonna Supplement course. Yes. But that's, I'm, I'm just, I said that and I'm talking about that because that was my firsthand experience of how much we put into it and pour into you all. But we do our, our yearly members too. Yeah. So much. Absolutely. There's my little, my little circle, see? And then it's gonna fit. <laughs> right back there. That's, That's so cute. cute. I'm obsessed. Okay, put the cap back on the pen because the last I time I okay, good. I the last time I wrote with a cricket, I left it in there and dried the pen out. Listen, I do be doing that too. It's okay. Listen, Linda. I do. Listen, Linda. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go back to our sunflower and we're gonna cut it out. Okay. So, um, we only need. I've already cut out three because I didn't want. It kind of takes a while. Let me make sure I'm cutting the right layer. So, there's four layers of flowers. Let me move this mat. Well, there's four layers of flowers. So, and they're all kind of different sizes. And we're going to be assembling them kind of staggered, like so. Okay, give it like that realistic effect. But I want to cut. Oh, I thought there was four layers. Where's my fourth layer? Am I tripping? Let's go back. I oh, I hid one on accident. Uh -huh. I was like, I know there's four layers. Oh, I know. Hi. So there's two big ones and then two small ones. How can you tell the difference? There, that one goes out a little past the 11. That one goes a little in. That's smaller. A little smaller than the 11. That one goes that a little smaller. past the 10. And the smallest. Okay, so that's the, first the one, one I is need. The biggest. You need, need the smallest. Yeah, I need the little BB. The BB. The BB. So we're gonna hit continue. And I'm gonna put my yellow card stuck on here. Oh, um, we have someone here that says their cousin George is the head organist at Radio City Music Hall where the Rockets perform. All right, you gonna send us some All right. tickets? We going we going. We wanna go. <laughs> I wanna go to New York so bad. Same girl. I know people are like, you get there, it's like not as exciting as it's supposed to be. I don't care. <gasps> I wanna go. 
Hold the front door. What? Somebody's niece was a rocket for 10 years, and now she dances with Taylor Swift on the Eras Tour. Liz. Stop it. You're practically famous. You're practically BFFs with Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. What semi-famous... I want to know what semi-famous person that you guys know that you're like... You almost know that basically makes you famous. I know Lauren's. No, I'm not telling. She won't tell people. I don't tell people. She don't like Leave it. Leave me alone. Um, I don't joking. know anybody, but I did sit beside... Uh, What's her name? Jenny Finch, the Olympic softball player. I was my... obsessed with her in high school. I oh, was, really? Oh, my God. I had to have Jenny Finch everything. Okay, well, I sat beside her on the plane coming from Chicago to Colorado when I, I used to fly by myself all the time when I was little, and uh -huh. I didn't know who she was. I didn't know. But I come off the plane, and my dad's like, that's Jenny Finch. And I was like, oh, I sat beside her on the plane. She's so nice. He's like, she's an Olympic softball player. She was on Sports Illustrated last month. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Yeah. So, okay, I love to know who y'all's are. It's got to be Dolly. It's Robin not. It's, it's actually not. not. Dolly. It's a male. Okay. But if you that's guys, all I'm saying. What if they guess it? Are you going to tell them? They won't guess it. They might. Okay. Okay. Sadie. Sadie's is probably Dolly. Dolly Parton yeah. is technically Sadie's cousin. Um, but, like, have you met her? Um, I've been around her, like, seven times. I've never, like, officially met her. Talk to her. her? Okay. Sadie's dad plays mandolin, fiddle. He doesn't yeah. play the mandolin, though. He plays everything. He's a, he's a musician, um, as is Sadie. Um, who else? Taylor Swift is my 10th cousin one time removed. Oh, wow. That's hilarious. Add that to your Instagram profile. Carrie says, bio. I've met Tanner. Oh, my gosh. Tanner Bell. Tanner Bell. Has, we, know, we know Tanner Bell. Tanner have you all heard of him? I mean, have you, you guys know who that is? Do you know who that is? Elvis was your second cousin? That's pretty cool. That's cool. Y'all, have you seen the new Elvis movie? Mm-mm. Oh, you gotta go watch it. Is watch it, it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I watched it the first week that I was on maternity leave, and I was like, this movie is emotional. It was so good, though. Okay, we've got all of our pieces, and I'm just gonna cut. Whenever I paper craft, I like to have piles. I got my piles ready, ready to go, ready to assemble. Now, that one is done cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start curling these petals. I think I wanna use this guy. So you need something that is squishy, has a little bit of give, not too squishy though. You want some, a little bit of stability. Mouse pads, doubled up are good. If you've got a Cricut heat pad, heat mat, these are really good. This is our heat pad for our press. Yeah. Um, and so all you're gonna do is take your little fondant tool and you're gonna push into your flower. And you don't have to be like super consistent with it, like, because it's a flower. You don't want them all going the same direction. You can kind of do some more, like if you push it down here more, it's gonna pull it up on the corner more. So play around with it. And it does take a minute to kind of get used to. I try to do it without actually bending my paper. I like to stay in here sometimes too because you can't see if the paper accidentally creases, but then also you kind of want to like curl up your edge edges. Okay. We're just going to work our way around. Okay. You could totally also, yes, our bone folders in here. If you wanna take a bone folder, this is a good paper crafting tool. These are something that we go to all the time when we're working with paper crafts. It, it helps you do really sharp creased edges, um, but also it helps curl flowers. So you. <laughs> what, it, what, what just happened? Oh, you tore it off. He loves me not. <laughs> Don't be so aggressive. Okay, so you're just, <laughs> it just popped right off. So you're just going to, first of all, hold the base of your petal. Just kind of curl. Yeah, you just literally, like, kind of, I'm grabbing the back of the <laughs> I just watched it on the video. <laughs> it's fine. It's 
Fighting Somebody up. said a melon baller, like those little kitchen gadget tools, would be great for oh, this. Oh, yes. That, um, see, I love the innovation people. So I'm just holding the base with one hand. Take your dominant hand. I've got my thumb right here. I'm going to put my pointer finger behind the pedal. That way it's got something to push against, and then you can curl it up. And you don't have to do every one. You don't have to do every other one either. You can do like two in a row, and then skip one and do another. So you can see this is how we kind of create some dimension. Beautiful. And you're going to do it to all of these layers. So I'm just going to keep working. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Do y'all have any questions about anything that we've done so far? This is a good time for Q&A. Um, what somebody did ask what we what that was those are actually fondant tools mm -hmm. and at the beginning of the show Alicia um, we did find some at Dollar Tree you can use the ones that you find at Dollar Tree mm -hmm. I mean there's so many different options yeah for sure so I am and honestly y'all can take more time to do this and do it neater I'm just wanting to get like a good variation of stuff quickly so right. y'all can show so I can show you guys what it's going to look like all put together all right don't tear your petals off but the good thing about paper crafting is if you mess up you can just recut honestly I could probably just go without that layer but I spent so much time curling my petals I know and like I can see a couple I want to kind of curl the tip <gasps> Gosh, Becky. Did you break another one? No. Oh, did you lie? No. I can watch it on the video. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're, it's behind and I can sit here and watch. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you know what? I'm going to double check this because I just cut the smallest flower. That looks gigantic. No, it's right. Oh, God. I was having a freak out. I thought I didn't measure it right. Okay. And I mean, really, if you just have a bone folder and you wanted to just curl these edges up, honey, you could just go in here and curl these edges up. You don't have to do all that crazy fondant stuff. But the fondant rollers do make it look cool. So, and you get like real good with this. Like you get in a rhythm as long as you don't rip your petals off. Obviously, that's as an issue. As long as you don't, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I have problems with that. And like I said, they don't have to be the same. Cuteness, cuteness, cuteness. Everybody's saying missing petals makes it look more realistic. That's exactly right because there is nothing perfect in nature. That's right. Okay, and then this one. This is my smallest flower. It's gigantic. I don't know what happened. Hold on, let's move this over. This is the one we just cut. It's huge. How, I mean... It's the biggest one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, y'all saw me do that, right? Y'all saw me do it. Cut the smallest one? Did you cut the very first one? No, I cut this one. I don't know what it is, you guys. Just whatever. Okay. It's fine. Cricket's just playing games on me sometimes. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, people. Did anybody have Brenda any questions? Brenda said you could use a pencil. That's a really good, um, like curling it around the pencil and just kind of working the way up. Yeah. It, that's, a, that's a good one too. Hey, I was thinking, we've got this mechanical Try a weaning pencil. tool. Oh, I'm trying to find a good roundy. What about this Cricut pen? Yeah. Pray, let's say a prayer, I don't rip this. I'm gonna hold the base of it. So I've got a pen here, I'm just kind of holding it this. It doesn't have to curl too much. Yeah, and I'm holding it from the back of my thumb. Oh my gosh. That's good right that's, there. That's the ticket right there. Yeah, that's money. I'm money. Gonna, money, honey. I'm going to skip a few. We'll have some extra curly ones. One, two, skip a few. Nine and nine, one hundred. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That looks good. Whoever gave it, who, who said that? Who said to use a pencil? You um, get a there was a star. couple people did. I just, uh, but yeah. Okay, cool. Now, we got all of our little pieces except Minus Honestly, a pedal. Everyone's minus having such great ideas today. I know. What I've the heck, you guys? Really good idea. Look how much dimension Are we have. Are you guys working for us now? Are you guys? You're hired. You're hired. <laughs> you're hired. Okay, so I've got this is the very back piece. Now, like I said, you can use double. You can use the double-sided tape. 
um, that we had here. You can use your glue, whatever. I don't recommend Elmer's glue. Um, this glue right here is really good. It's like precision tip glue. And, uh oh, here it goes. This is the Super Tight brand. I don't know that this one is linked for you all, but we did link the double-sided adhesive and it does not take a lot. That doesn't look like a lot, but like that's enough. That's plenty. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stack these and I'm kind of staggering the leaves, okay? I want them to go into the windows of other the other petals. And then I've got this one. Oh wait, make sure you're doing them in order. <laughs> <laughs> Megan said, Goofy, Lauren, and Alicia Days are my favorite. It's a dynamic duo. We do be acting silly, extra silly extra Sunday. Extra silly. Some days we've been live streaming for two days, too many days in a row. This mm -hmm. is my third live stream day. I'm feeling good. Usually by day three, I'm just like, I hey guys. I have not hosted a single one this week. <laughs> Tomorrow will be the only day I host, and that is not normal for me. Oh, really? I didn't host any this week. Well, I only Tomorrow, have... I will be hosting. Wait, did Tanner do two this week? Yep. He was feeling ambitious. Yep. Um, yeah, sometimes that's just how it goes. Okay, this is my top one. I did, I did rip a petal, but I think when we put our brown pieces on, it's going to cover it up. I'm going to put it at the bottom. Okay. Wow, it's Gorgina. Gorgina. Bolina. Tina, this is not dap glue. This is uh, super tight. Super per tight. Precision craft glue. I don't know why I said it like <laughs> craft glue. Okay, and then this guy, we're gonna put right in the middle. Did I miss something? What? Lindsay. I don't see it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm going back. What did you, what? I, I'm out of I'm way. looking for it. Okay, so I'm just going to add this brown piece on. You just kind of have to oh, eyeball Oh, snap. It. Sin said she danced with George Strait at a honky-tonk in Arkansas once. I'm done. Stop. Did you I'm know it was George Strait? I would marry that man this day. George, right now. George Strait is Lauren's George top. Strait, if you're listening, I'll marry you right now. That's the one that you would marry? <laughs> Is that even a question? Out of all the celebrities, you pick George Strait? Look at the man. He's gorgeous. I if Burt Reynolds was still alive, I'd marry him. Oh, my gosh. Lauren. <laughs> Not like Brad Pitt I or like something? like old men. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, point blank, period. Point made. Point blank. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are so funny. Okay. I've got M&Ms. We'll just save those, and I'll eat them later. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> I'm gonna pick out the baby um, raisinettes. If you're doing this for someone you don't know, use, wash your hands. But like, we're probably gonna eat these after. I'm gonna get a paper towel and scooch this over. Some of these, oh, I think we use knockoff raisinettes because these are real because they're shrivelly. <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> Look at them. Look at these. Are those chocolate covered peanuts or raisinettes? No, they're raisinettes. Okay. Yeah, but they're just not shriveled. So I'm just picking out the little baby ones to, that'll fit in here because you want this to sit flush. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you all a hack on how to flip this over too. A little fun hacky hack. Okay. One to grow them. Another one. I should have put that one in there. It was little, but I ate it. Okay. Oh, there's more. I was like, we're running out of little ones. The good thing about this project is that you're going to give somebody all the little ones and you can eat all the big ones yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Now. Cute and gorgeous. She's cute and she's gorgeous. Now, what I would do, let's move all these out of the way. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know the best way to do that. Are we in the view? What I would do is take a piece of cardstock, put it on the back, flip it over. Okay, so they're on there. We're gonna remove the cardstock. You know what I didn't do? Add glue. <laughs> but what you can, <laughs> what you can do. 
flip it back over, add the glue. No, I'm just going to lift okay, up these okay. edges and add, add it that way. And you're going to have to kind of let this sit for a minute. One for the project, one for me. One for you, one for me. I love this precision tip glue. Are those knockoff raisinets? Is that why they're still wrong? Are they from the Dollar Tree? No, the other ones are knockoffs though. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of hold this down for a minute. This dry, I think it even says it's got a fast dry time. It says, nope, I just made that up. <laughs> I just made that up in my head. It dries translucent and strong is what it says. Oh, it's already getting tacky. So I'm just gonna kind of hold this on here for a minute. And you don't need a lot of glue because you don't want the glue seeping into your candy. Yeah. And it's going to look kind of like crusty a little for there um, before we put this on. But then, hold on, I'm going to keep holding this down because I want it to stay. Okay. I'm going to eat a raisin it while we're sitting here. <laughs> okay. I've been deprived of chocolate for Why like didn't two you uh, open up the M M&M's? Because I know. I'm, I'm going to open them. I'm going to open them when we leave. Now, okay. I'm going to take my little topper piece and put the glue on this piece rather than putting it on the flower. Go. And then I'm just going to push. I'm going to apply pressure all the way around. That plastic piece is Donna. Dry. Donna, stop! You're so sweet. The whole office can have coffee now. Oh my goodness, <gasps> girl! That's like ten whole Red Bulls. I mean, from we the don't, gas station. Uh, clearly, we don't need any more today. No. <laughs> I had an Oreo, so I guess that's what got into me. And you can kind of stagger these too. Also, thank you, Donna. I feel like I didn't say thank you because I was so... You're such a sweetheart. Yeah, that was so nice. We've been talking about you, Donna. Mm-hmm. We really like you. Have your ears been burning? <laughs> I hope so. In a good way, we've been In talking about you. In a good way, clearly. Tina said show off. <laughs> okay. All right. What do you guys think? That's it. Also, uh -huh. she's bigger. She's a big mama. Oh, wow. But, like, I like. that's cute. Did like you add a pair? it to the back? Your little saying? Oh, no. Hee-hee. <laughs> Hee-hee. <laughs> that was our little extra bonus. I'm worried that's not going to stay on there. I'm going to hold it. Oh. So, I'm going to take our little, the bar, you're raising it, and we're going to put a little bit of glue, just a little. A little goes a long way with this precision glue. Nina, what is your question? There are so many comments that type your question again, and I promise you I am watching the comments to answer your question. We are waiting on you. Okay. Look how cute the bar. You're raising it. You're raising it. I also feel like, do you guys watch New Girl? I feel like that's a Schmidt joke. Like, I feel like Schmidt from New Girl would say that and think it was hilarious. Anyways, there you go. I'm worried it's not gonna dry, so I'm gonna take this one and take a couple raisinets, too. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm you guys. I'm waiting for Nina's question. Nina. Okay, so. Let me see if I can scroll back and find it. What did you guys think? Are you gonna be re recreating this? Sorry. Too many chocolate raisins. Um. Are y'all gonna be recreating this? I would love to see it. If you all are new and you're like, hey, these people are like really fun to hang out with, um, you can join our membership. We have a whole membership. We've got a whole community mm -hmm. of like-minded crafters, people that are constantly creating stuff like this with us. We have a Facebook group. We've got master classes that are exclusive for members, over 20,000 cut files, over a thousand fonts. So many good things for you guys. And you know what? Should we show them like Maker You and like Makeathon and kind of show them around a little bit? Yeah, we said we were going to um, show them how to like navigate the website. Okay, let me go back over here and I'm going to And pull I'm still it up. trying to find Nina's comment. Okay. Nina's question. Okay, so let's start with the website because if you're a newbie, we want you to start in the website, okay? So you're going to get logged in 
And right when you get logged in, it's gonna take you to this home page. Actually, it may just take you to your dashboard. It will take you to your dashboard. Yeah, so the dashboard is, this is like the hub. This is where you wanna live, yes. okay? So there's cut files, fonts, Facebook group, courses, classes, resources. Then you can put your favorites. We've got other videos, and this is our commercial license. Not only that, but we have a calendar over here of dates and times of events that we have coming up. So you can see our shaker cards here tomorrow. Excuse me, we have our printable HTV and puff vinyl. Um, Patricia, if you're wanting to find this project and you did not sign up for boot camp, there is a link. Um, Sadie's gonna drop a link in the comments for you so you can sign up and you're gonna get these files for free, okay? So when you get logged in, you can obviously browse our cut files and fonts. You can do this as a non-member. If you just wanna get on the website and look around, you can see what we have but you um, won't get access to download them until you become a member. And then you can see here, we've got our Facebook group, y'all. I don't know how many members we have in our Facebook group right now, but it is popping all the time. People are in there helping you all. If you post a picture and you're like, I don't know how to figure out this and this and this, guaranteed five people are gonna help you. Yep. And we're gonna help you if we see it. We leave comments on stuff all the time. Um, we also have our master classes. These are exclusive member only classes. We do once a month, more for feeling frisky. And like we just did scrapbooking, you all requested scrapbooking at the previous master class. We were like, let's do it. So we did scrapbooking. And then like the one before that, we did an Easter craft. So you guys are already ready for Easter. And so you can see in here, um, we have tons of master classes. This is the beautiful orchid, paper flower orchid we did last March. Look at that, beautiful. So these are full tutorials in here. These are not ever and will never be available on the YouTube channel, okay? You have to be a member oh. to get access to this stuff. Okay, um, Nina said her question um, was, if um, Cricut pens drying out, even if, if you don't use them, even if they're capped, what I have found works best, if you don't use them a lot, keep them stored upside down. Yes. So keep them with the actual pen part stored upside down. And I may run out there and show you guys how we store ours. Yeah. Um, because that's gonna keep the ink in the bottom of that pen, in the felt tip of that pen. That way it stays moist, I mm -hmm. guess you could say. Um, so you keep talking. I'm going to run out there and show them how okay. we store ours. Cool, Grab cool. Um, so, yeah, our master classes, they get very personable. We're very much a little bit more. I mean, we're loosey goosey out here, but in the master class, you get to know us a little bit better, which is really fun. Um, this one right here, I totally bombed. It's hilarious. If you guys want a good laugh, go watch that one. Oh, the balloon? Yeah. <laughs> um, so lots of fun stuff. And that's just like one perk of becoming a member. I'm going to go back so you all can see our courses. Um, here, Resource let's go, library. Let's go overhead and show. This is how we store our Cricut pins. So this is on like a pegboard out there. And these are not even all of our Cricut pins. We have so many. And the reason I actually like storing them like that better is because you can read on the top of the pin what it is so yeah. if it is a f it's like it's a fine point if it's a g it's a like a gel or a glitter yeah um this is my favorite color of all time right here this one hot pink yeah let me look at it so so pretty. we store them with the actual pen like the cap facing down yeah pretty and that cool. may that may help you yes so let's go back to our dashboard and i'm going to show you all Courses. So if you're a maker, I'm sorry, if you're a member and you decide, oh my gosh, I want to take Maker University. Whenever you sign up for Maker University, your course is going to live right over here. If you signed up for Makeathon, that's going to live over here as well. This is the 2024 Makeathon. This is our live crafting event that we do once a year. It is on the weekend typically. Actually, we did it on Thursday this year. I think we did it on the weekend before that, but y'all, Makeathon is so fun. We've got a schedule here. You all can craft in real time with us. So that means you're crafting along with us and you come out of this fun event with four projects completed. Okay, so these are like, this is the stuff we made. We did this beautiful cutting board, this faux etched keychain. I show you how to do to make your stream disappear, which I think is really cool. 
This is that flower or picture holder I was talking about. And then we did a faux leather pouch, um, patch pouch. So very fun. And then we're taking signups for the 2025 Megathon already, which is really exciting because we have so much fun. We were like, we have to do it again. And then the other class that you can sign up for is Maker University. Now, if you sign up for either one of these classes, you are going to get a craft hack handbook for free, including the course that comes with it. So by purchasing a Makeathon ticket for 2025 or a Maker University course, you are gonna get that free course on top of the course you purchased. So pretty cool. Now this is sophomore year. These are some projects that we did here, um, DIY word searches, Lauren taught this customizable mandala, which was amazing. This was my favorite that I taught was this accordion oh, yeah. card. This is 50 candles on it. <laughs> um, we did this beautiful like faux 3D art and all the files in these courses are exclusive to the course. Well, I won't say all of them, but most of them. Um, we even did some wood projects. We always do like a timber category. So all this stuff is made out of wood, which I think is really cute. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty fun stuff. So we've got all the links to this in the description. If you all are wanting to sign up for any of these courses, you can do that. And those links are just right below. Okay. Does anybody have questions about either of those? Another thing that we have on our website is our resources. Now, a lot of people, even members don't know that we have this resource area on our website, which is crazy to me because y'all, you need to be coming over here a lot more often. We've got a puff funnel reference sheet. We have Cricut card sizes. It tells you how to lay out your designs in Cricut. This right here, the Master Your Cricut, which we also have in the courses, we've got videos for all of them, but this Master Your Cricut book is the first place you should go. 100%. If you become a member, if, you're, if you signed up today, I want you to go log in and go straight here. You're gonna yes. go resources, Master Your Cricut. Uh -huh. And you're gonna do this whole Master Your Cricut. Thing. okay don't go to the Facebook first and start asking questions don't email customer service like I want you all to come in here I mean we start from opening the box all the way down to troubleshooting mastering 3d cut files all of this is like this is gonna set your foundation okay if you know all these skills you're gonna be able to create whatever you want and you're gonna feel so much better and more confident using your Cricut okay so you can see we've got all of this in here. This is just like the PDF printable version. You can print it out yourself um, or you can just watch it, read it digitally. So pretty cool. Lots of information in here. This is my favorite place to be. Uh, does anybody have any more questions? Anybody? Do y'all want to see anything on the website? Those are like the main, that's like the main areas. If um, you decide you want to sign up today, the link below is going to take you straight here to this Makers Gonna Learn page where you can sign up for yearly or monthly. Do not forget to use 75 OFF. That's going to get you 75 off of the yearly membership if you're wanting to become a yearly member. And there's lots of things that are included with that. So yep. I'm going to scroll down here and show you guys. So you can see this is our monthly. There's lots of things in the monthly membership, but I feel like there's a lot in the yearly membership. Okay. You're uh -huh. going to get a huge, it's what like 50% off discount if you become yearly. It's like a huge yep. difference. And we're doing the 75 off, okay? Um, so all of this stuff, you're gonna get commercial license, digital cut file library, monthly cut file releases, no ads, printable guides, everything. All the stuff that you would want in a Cricut membership. So love that. You're just gonna click join now. And then once you get to this page, you're just going to type in your information and make sure right here, have a coupon code, you type in 750FF and hit apply, okay? That's yep. the only way you're gonna get that discount. Yep. All right. Okay, so we have a couple questions. If you wanna come back over here, I okay. want to make sure that we talk about these. So Debbie mm -hmm. asked, how do I get the font that you added today? So if you are not a member, what you will need to do is you'll need to go back to where we sent you the link for the supply list and the cut files, and you'll have to re-download the, um, the files because it yes. will now, it'll be in there again. So you'll have to re-download it and then go to day four and it should be in there. Yeah. Um, and then 
Susan asks, would you post your discount codes for partners on the resource section page? We really don't have that many discount codes. We have one for Ashley, Ashley. Falco at Celebration Warehouse for this paper. Use code MGL for 20% off, y'all. She offered us to she like make a percentage like we would make 10% and mm -hmm. you all would get 10% off we said mm, no thanks we'll just give our customers 20% off and us not get anything because like we said we work for you guys um, mm -hmm. we wanted you all to get the the most amount of discount that you had so celebration warehouse and then I don't even think we we so we will link a lot of stuff to 143 because mm -hmm. we are an affiliate for them, but like we don't get as much kickback as you all think. Yeah, I don't even we know get, where it goes. <laughs> we get like 50 know. bucks a month. Yeah, and we spend it on supplies. <laughs> and we spend it on supplies to make more crafts for you guys. Yeah, so uh, yeah. Um, but those know. are the only two, I mean, Ashley Falcon, the Celebration Warehouse is the only place that we have a code. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So anyways, well, I hope we addressed any questions that you all had over the membership. Do not forget, if you sign up today and there's only 50 spots, so I'm not, I shouldn't be even saying if, I should say when you sign up today, um, you're going to get the Craft Hack Handbook for free as long as you were spending over $100. Yep. Okay. So anything, you can sign up for Maker U, Makeathon, membership, Maker Sam Supplement, all, everything. Everything. So sign up, you're going to get that Craft Hack Handbook. Do not have FOMO. Don't show up at 1.30 tomorrow mm -hmm. and be like, I should have done it yesterday. Dang. It's, listen, it. I'm going to say, I've done this more times than I can, I care to admit. When I'm like, oh, they'll keep, they'll extend that sale. I'm not going to mm -hmm. get it yet. They're just going to extend it. Or oh, there's going to be spots left. Like, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. And then I wait until when I said I was going to get it and it's gone. Sold out. It's gone. Sold out. Gone. It's gone. Yeah, so, so don't be that, don't be us. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> oh, we're going to get a button that's like, bow, 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 bow. I, I want, I want one of those buttons. <laughs> we need to get one for giveaways and yes. stuff. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, well, this was so fun. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I can't wait to see your sayings you put on the back of your card. I'm so excited to get in the Facebook group and see what you guys recreate. I'm telling you, <laughs> this week, it has been one of my favorite things. Yeah, it's been It awesome. really has. It has. And I can't wait to be back with you all again here tomorrow. Now, remember, you need to show up live tomorrow because mm -hmm. we are announcing our winner for today's giveaway. So make sure you either comment on the live or go back and comment on the replay mm -hmm. um, and you're going to be entered to win a crafting essentials kit is what we're calling it yes and then tomorrow we are giving it away live so you have to be present you must be here tomorrow with me and tanner and we're going to be giving away a cricket maker three yeah, yeah. I mean, who doesn't want a new machine? I mean, or an extra machine. Heck, more. I mean, the it's more the merrier. Yeah, new and extra. New and extra. New and extra. All right. Well, we will be back. Oh, oh Karen what? said yes. And our master class on Sunday. Make sure you set your <gasps> reminder for that too. Very important. Very important. I That's can't you. believe we haven't talked about that, y'all. There's just so much good stuff happening. Sunday's master class. Mm, you're going to want to be there. You're going to want to be there. So mm -hmm. um, we will see y'all at 1.30 Eastern Standard tomorrow. Well, I won't, but Lauren and Tanner will. It's going to be Alicia a good time. Alicia gets Fridays off. I'm off on Fridays. I may come in, though. Lucky dog. Sometimes I get frisky and come in. Yep. Okay, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, 